What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Cameron and this is Growing Greens with Cam. Um, today we're going to be transplanting our seed starts, our peppers, for the cross-planting, our cross-pollinating series. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Today we're just going to be um, exper experimenting with uh, some cocoa core blocks uh, to see how they, how they work for a seed starter. Um, it is recommended for seed starting, so I know they've already technically started, but they haven't been any been in any kind of soil yet. So without further ado, let's get right into that. All right, so we're back on the patio. We're gonna be doing one of these guys right here. It's the Burpee seed starting mix. Um, this is a um, probably two or three dollar item over at it, uh, my local Home Depot. Um, we're just gonna take this guy, we add four and a half quarts of water to it. Um, it should make about eight quarts of uh, potting soil. So we're gonna get, go ahead and do that. We're gonna do a time lapse on, got my, 27 gallon tote right here. We're gonna go ahead and do a little time lapse on that to see if it actually is about two minutes. Um, I'll let you know as well. I'll make a, I'll do a stopwatch for it. But um, got my water, got my seeds or my uh, seeds, my seed starter. So we'll get right into it. Go ahead and just tear this guy up. So it doesn't say to break it up or anything. We're just gonna put it right into the tote. We'll let the process begin. So it does appear to be work, have worked pretty well. Um, if I do this again, what I'll do is probably use a five gallon bucket, um, just because it looks like a lot of this didn't get hit with the, you can see that dry stuff right there, just going to crumble that up. Um, a lot of it didn't get hit with the water because this is a larger tote than they recommend. I figured two for one, get some uh, seed store, or uh, some soil storage as well as um, not have to make the entire uh, the entire uh, porch all covered in this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and reorientate so I can get on the other side. There we go. Make sure all these unincorporated bits get proper amount of water. Wait a, bit, wait a minute, that looks pretty good. Again, we're gonna make sure it's all coated before we start our seed tray filling process. But, so again, little pieces like that, we'll make sure there's no excess dryness in here because you don't want that in your seed mix so do be a, do do pay attention William all right I'm getting there and once you have have it all more or less in that consistency you're good to go. So we'll do one final mixing to get everything kind of close together and saturate it evenly. And then get the excess off of our hands and we can go ahead and get our seat trays. So I'm using these little guys right here just because once, once it's time to uh, move them into a bigger pot, which I'm gonna go from here to these guys. These are, I think, let's see if it says, yeah, just under three quarts. Um, this will be perfect for uh, getting like an intermediate plant just to be able to get this to a five gallon. So, got those over, over on the side. What you're gonna wanna do is just grab a handful hold it from the base and then just just get it in there and knock off all the excess it's a little bit of a messy process so if you don't like getting your hands dirty by all means wear some gloves once you've got your seed tray make sure they're all separated 
I know it's unlikely that roots will try to make their way from pod to pod, but again, that's about what you want your pods to look like. So, actually, a little more on that one. Yeah. So, there we go. We'll get, looks like there's, uh, yeah, there's six right, or, uh, ten right there, so we'll go ahead and get um, two more of these done, and then we'll come right back. All right, now we're going to go ahead and label all of our, our plants. Um, since I will be using another, oops, probably shouldn't put that on there. Since I will be using another um, tray to invert over for the time being, just for probably another week, um, what I'll be doing is I will be cutting these guys down. Um, so, let's see if I can fit it actually behind there. Fit it behind, so I probably only need to cut off about two inches. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and snip off about two inches. And then see how that fits. Almost fits perfect. Let's see if the... Get that excess water out of there. See if that still fits. And that's perfect. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just cut them all down to that size, and then we'll be right back. All right, got them all cut down to size. We'll go ahead and get them inserted. So we'll start with the ones we're most excited about. So Carolina Reaper will go right in there. Then that lemon habanero, right next to it. Uh, we'll do the mini bell pepper and the bell pepper next to each other. And then the Thai and the cayenne. And last but not least, the orange and red Caribbean habaneros. So I know that I had said that I was going to fill three of these trays, but I figured what I can do, just since they're five long, and I, I wouldn't be able to effectively separate uh, three, and then there's a two section here, so what I'm going to end up doing is doing three, 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 all the way through here, and then having uh, an entire lettuce one, and then all of these uh, four cubes in the bottom, what I'm going to do is probably just try to grow um, or start some herbs and stuff like that. So I might do some some basil, some rosemary, some thyme, uh, maybe sage, I have sage, um, and then maybe some lavender in these, and then do six, uh, six plugs of the lettuce. Um, but let's go ahead and get these guys planted. So what I'm going to do, so let me go ahead and move all this out. Because within here, I've just got a normal chopstick. It's This is a little bit different than a normal one. Um, in fact, a normal one would actually work a little bit better just because it's a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit thicker than that. Um, what I'm going to do is just kind of go down in and then just wiggle it around a little bit. So I'll show you with one of them. Let's go ahead and get you guys a little bit closer. All right. So you can see that I'm just going to go into the middle and then just make a little pocket. Probably about a quarter to an half an inch deep. We'll go ahead and do that with all of them. All the ones we're going to plant right now at least. And I'll come back when I'm done with all of these. And again, I'm going about, probably about that far. So probably about, it's right, it's actually right in between a quarter and an eighth of an inch. Maybe like a fingernail. Alright, so as you can see we have all of our holes dig, our dug. And we're going to go ahead and take this guy right off. Um, go ahead and flip this around so you got a better idea. Because we do remember about the blue masking tape in the corner over here, if you can see that. Yeah, just barely. So we're going to take our guide um, with our numbers. Well, let's see if we can get this to get a focus. There we go. So. One, two, three is going to be these guys. And so we're just going to go ahead and take the seeds um, and we're going to plant them uh, in, their, uh, in their correlating uh, seed trays. And what I'm going to do also to, just in the meantime, I'll kind of 
go through this entire thing on camera and then um, or on, off camera and then when I get to some of the seeds that are kind of starting a little bit you'll be able to see a lot more of the the root coming through I'll go ahead and show you guys those um, but don't be afraid if, if they've been soaking for a week like these guys have it's 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 very uh, possible that they're still not going to have some kind of growth just in just especially if um, they're older seeds um, some of the newer seeds like a lot of the the, the habaneros that I have from in my gardeners website um, they're relatively new seeds and so a lot of them have completely blown up I think the lemon let's actually let's check this one I'll show you this right now I believe this is the one maybe not that one oh it's the Thai chili that's what it is it's up here. I knew it was one on the top row. But as you can see, each one of them has a little bit of white, you can see. That's just the root spreading out. You can see in this one right here, too, it's already uh, sending out kind of fan, like a fan, fan like uh, webbing. Uh, of roots trying to just tap into anything and you do want to get your seeds out before they get too established Otherwise, it'll be kind of hard to get them out of the paper towel um, So well, let's go ahead and get these planted and then I'll be right back. I'll come back when I'm done with all of these All right, and we are all finished last thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and just take my finger You can even take one of these if you want. I don't know if you noticed too in the video, but um, the one of the easiest ways to transplant seeds um, so you're not trying to pick them up because they will stick to your fingers. Um, it's just to take something like this, chopstick work, that kind of thing, um, and then just kind of stick them into the hole and then press them against the side uh, of the hole that you've made, and it makes it a lot easier. But we're going to go ahead and just pinch and tamp down. Pinch and tamp down. I'm going to do these on all of these right here. That way we get a... very even amount of soil just kind of also right in the hole because um, any kind of any air pocket um, that's in there is going to encourage bacteria um, and ideally we want to keep away from as much bacteria near this new seedling as possible just so um, they have the best chance of fighting through and you can see you might be able to see this little guy in the corner is actually still popping through like a little bit so we're just going to go ahead and push him down perfect and we're gonna pop him right in. All right. We're gonna go ahead and tamp them all down just a little bit more just to make sure we have full contact with both the seed and the soil, or the coconut core, I guess, in this case. Um, you could use soil for this. I just, just I just chose this cocoa core block because it was uh, two or three dollars and the soil seed mix um, was, I think, five or six bucks, so. It's a little more economical and you can add anything so I even thought about just mixing in worm castings and stuff like that um, just to encourage the seeds a little bit more but I didn't end up doing that just because um, I want to give them the best chance uh, without any kind of anything else. Again worm castings wouldn't have been a problem but um, I know a lot of people that want want to see growth really really quickly and so they'll fertilize with a harsh fertilizer that's more or less meant for um, mature or adolescent uh, growth anywhere from like probably two to four inch plant um, to get it to kind of start really going and oftentimes it'll burn the seeds because um, of the acidity of the the nutrients they're using so I don't want to recommend that just in case someone uh, was watching and has a kind of more or less acidic uh, fertilizer that's used for uh, larger plants um, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy covered Go ahead and try and put everything over here. Get this guy over here. Oh. Keep my utensils out from under there. But then we're just going to cover this guy. Just like we've previously done. Again, they haven't broken the soil yet, or so to speak, I guess, because they are not um, to that point yet. But we're just going to go ahead and cover them and say goodnight for about a week. Um, actually, before we do that, 
decent practice would probably be to go ahead and spray these guys down. So they're already moist from the, the four liters of water that we put in to the cocoa core block just to uh, break it up and rehydrate it. But if you go ahead and give them a little bit more right now, you'll have a little bit more, um, it'll cause the soil to settle a little bit more as well as um, hydrate them for a little bit longer and especially if you're going to put a dome over them some people put a clear dome and that's totally awesome as well i just don't have a clear dome um so again for the time being i'm going to go ahead and oh i'm watering empty cells i just realized so we're just going to go ahead and give them nice thorough watering looks like that one wasn't closed up so let's go ahead and close that guy up there we go And then just a nice overall dusting, or misting, not dusting. Um, but then we're gonna go ahead and close her up. And now we'll put them right back on the shelf. So in one week, we ideally will see some growth. So I know that some of them will be a little bit more stunted um, because, actually, let me here turn the camera around real quick. All right, here we go. That's a little bit easier. So I know that a lot of them will still be, will still take a little bit of time. It may not be, they may not emerge within that one week period. Some peppers like the Reaper specifically, um, they have to go through a lot more of a regular, rigorous process. Um, oftentimes people ask, or tell tell people to put them in the fridge and all that kind of stuff before to kind of, to make, to make them, to make simulated, simulated frost. That way when you do plant them, they're immediately kind of ready to go. Um, but in order for me to do this whole project, I'm gonna forego that process. I've done it before in the past with my last uh, Carolina, Carolina Reaper, and they're already a very slow growing plant to begin with uh, compared to most other peppers. Um, the ones that'll shoot up first will probably be the new, newer seeds. Those are gonna be the pretty much all the, the habaneros. So the lemon habanero, the Caribbean red, and the Caribbean orange. Those are gonna be the ones that I guarantee will pop out first before any of the other ones. Um, that Thai chili, I say, I say that, the Thai chili was also a pretty new seed, um, and it's a fast grower as well. So between those four, that's going to be the 50% the of, the, of the seeds that we've planted that I think will pop within the next week, the next week update. But, but we'll see. Um, I'm super excited to see what happens. Uh, we'll put this guy back into the grow closet. Um, the lights still aren't on, but again, they don't need to be right now. Um, putting lights on a covered dome right like this really wouldn't do very much. If you have a clear dome and you have lights, you can put them on there. Again, these guys are still under the soil though, so it's unlikely that they'll experience any kind of um, benefit, very minimal at least. Um, at this point, they're, they're searching for light, so they're going to be trying to get their way through the coconut core right now. Um, and when they get to be about one to two inches, I might dilute down a um, just like an early stage uh, fertilizer, probably diluted down half of what the, the recommended dosage for the first week is just to make sure I'm not burning anything. Um, you can tell, tell if you've burnt your plants with uh, fertilizer if they turn kind of yellowish and um, they stop growing nearly as fast, which I know sounds kind of counterintuitive considering fertilizer is supposed to make them grow fast, but it's, a, it's, a, it's all about the, the process and how, how they take up the nutrients and how they use it. And so if they can't utilize everything and it just sits there, it burns them and stunts their growth. So, so what we're gonna do, again, put this guy in the closet. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, down below in the comment section down below. Um, and I'll be more than happy to answer anything I can. And again, and again anything I cannot answer, I will be uh, looking up and sending an answer your way. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm really excited about this series. I even thought about probably when it comes to the end of the first uh, first group of mother plants, um, even grafting. Um, I saw a, re a recent video. Uh, if I can find the video, I'll go ahead and link it in the description because um, it's a great video. Uh, the, guy, the guy was a little bit reckless with his uh, razor blade, but again, all the information in that video was great. So if I can find the video, it'll be in the link down below. Um, but until then, until next time, I will see you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.